What's going on guys, San here and today's video will be a sequel to my Black Ops 3 FPS fix video. So this essentially being part 2 of lord knows how many parts you need until Black Ops 3 is fixed for the PC. I still love the game and still have hopes for it to be revived so I'll be doing my best to keep you guys updated on exactly how to optimize it for your gaming room. First and foremost if you haven't seen the initial video of this series then I suggest you do. Link will be on the screen and in the description. Some helpful information in there but remember it is in regards to the previous patch which was released on the 19th of November. So it may or may not be of much help, but you'd miles a try luck. This video will be addressing the mystery patch Treyarch released on the 25th of November. I've had time to play around with the settings and I'll tell you guys what's work right now to fix those darn FPS drops. This video will consist of 4 optimizations, best Nvidia driver for Black Ops 3, GeForce experience optimization, custom configuration tweaks and lastly Nvidia control panel adjustments. Anyways let's get started with the video. First of all if you're running an Nvidia graphics card, I want you guys to downgrade your graphics card back to 359.00 as this was literally kick ass in terms of running Black Ops 3. Not even the game ready driver for Black Ops 3 was better, ironically. But before you guys go ahead and do that, make a side note to remind yourself what driver you're on right now, just to be on the safe side. To downgrade your graphics card, head over to Google and search for GeForce Drivers. Click on the first link, use the manual search, and put in all your system information. Click search, look for GeForce Game Ready Driver version 359.00, accept and download. Once complete, install with express settings or custom installation, completely up to you. Now let's move on to GeForce Experience optimization. With your graphics driver downgraded, open up Nvidia GeForce Experience and click on the Games tab. Find Black Ops 3 in the list and click on the Custom Settings button beside Optimize. Adjust to what you prefer, such as playing a native 1080p and 100% render resolution. With all that adjusted, hit Optimize. Close out of Nvidia GeForce Experience and open up your File Explorer. Navigate with me to find where Black Ops 3 is located on your hard disk. It's usually located from your C drive to your program files x86, then Steam, then press the S key on your keyboard and find Steam Apps. Go to the first folder called Common, then click on Call of Duty Broken Ops 3. From here we'll be going into the Players folder and now open the file config.ini with Notepad. Within this file, I want you guys to change the following settings. Of course, you guys aren't obliged to do all of these, but it might just help you in gameplay. And by the way, all the settings and identifications will be in the description, so just copy and paste into the Find dialog window with Ctrl F. And one last thing I promise. I suggest you guys make a backup of this file on your desktop in case anything goes wrong. You could always recover the backup. First of all, change corpse count to anything lower. I personally set it to 8 when it was originally at 16. Next, if you're not experiencing input latency, change max frame latency to 4. Otherwise, if you are, then change it to a smaller value. Next, change serialized render to zero, but only if you have a moderately powerful CPU. Next one is completely dependent on the GPU you are running. I've got a 2GB card, so I set the fraction of video memory usage target 0.85, aka 85%. If you have a 1GB card, I would suggest anything between 0.85 to 0.95, or if you have a 3GB card or higher, choose anything within the legal bounds, but I'd suggest about 0.9 to 0.95. Next, change back buffer count to 3 if it isn't already. Already. Next, this is completely optional, you can change spot shadow texture size to 256 or lower. I'm leaving my one on the default 512 because it doesn't affect performance too much. You could do the same with omni shadow texture size also. Last, switch actor shadow to zero, which is what I've got it on now. Now, make sure you have a completely separate backup and hit save. Lastly, I want you Nvidia card owners to open up Nvidia control panel. It may look different to what I have on screen, so if you don't see what I'm tinkering with, don't worry about it. Consider yourself done and try out the game to see if it's helped. With Nvidia control panel, under 3D settings, click on adjust image settings with preview. If the little slider isn't already set to either balanced or quality, I want you guys to select use my preference emphasizing and slide it to either respectively. Then switch back to use the advanced 3D image settings and hit apply. After you've applied the setting, click on the hyperlink right here or just click manage 3D settings on the side navigation bar. Here we'll be changing a few settings around, so take note of what you're changing just in case you want to revert. Depending on what video card you have, settings will be different and you may want to play around with a few just to see what works. But for pretty much any card, all you guys can change the following. Select maximum pre-rendered frames and select 3. Select multi-display, mixed GPU acceleration and select single display performance mode. Of course if you only have one monitor, otherwise ignore this. Next select power management mode and click adaptive. Next select texture filtering, negative LOD bias and choose allow for better performance according to Nvidia. 
Next, select triple buffering and turn it on. Lastly, if you're not experiencing input latency, select virtual reality pre-rendered frames and select a value higher than one. I've left it at two because I don't experience much input latency and it definitely does help with FPS drops. And once you're done with all these, you're done. Fire up the game and see if it's helped your performance and if it has, leave a message in the comments section below to say what you've changed and any issues I'll try my best to respond to as soon as possible. Well, that's it for this episode of FPS Fixes for Broken Ops 3. If the game continues to be terrible, I'll try and make a video addressing any further issues with the game and how to fix them. Remember to subscribe to make sure you don't miss a future video. Throw me a like on the video to support the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.